No, I know. So some cells are and some cells aren't, and that's the kind of interesting thing, right? right. We work on organisms related to tuberculosis here in the needle. My lab researches tuberculosis, and we're very interested in trying to understand how TB is still able to cause disease worldwide. Good. The secondary binding to the IgG beads. Excellent. Um, Most people don't realize that tuberculosis is still killing two to three million people every year. It's the maybe the first or second most significant infectious disease in the world. It's mostly a killer of people in the developing world, um, but nonetheless, there's a large reservoir of TB that can affect the developed world. And most recently, we've seen the emergence of drug-resistant TB, which I think that a lot of people are familiar with. There are cells in your immune system called macrophages that eat TB, and they eat other bacteria as well. And these cells generally kill bacteria. But TB is one of the few bacteria that's actually able to survive inside what are otherwise killing machines and turn your immune system cells into its home. So the fact that we're here uh, in a part of Boston where TB has been an issue, I think, is appropriate. One thing, everything we do here in this lab is open, transparent, publicly funded. We know that there needs to be an, an, an openness and a transparency about what we do. And that's the other important thing. This lab, the needle, is really only open for what's called BL2 work. And mycobacterium tuberculosis, the organism that causes human TB, is technically a BL3 organism. In the needle, we're doing work that's on organisms that are related to mycobacterium tuberculosis that still give us insight into the disease and also on things like DNA and so forth, which aren't hazards. This is perhaps the most advanced building anywhere for infectious disease research. The retinal scans, the gates, the guards, the, the, air, the, the airport style security when you walk through the door, right? This is unprecedented for any other lab. This building was designed for safety first. Safety for the population, but also safety for the scientists working in here. Because you could imagine, as people who are working on these organisms, we want to go home and be safe and be healthy and go home to our families. And that's, um, that was designed into the building. We're just like the people who are living out there, and, and we want to be healthy. So what you'll see now is you'll see people who are essentially doing really pretty standard molecular biology um, on, uh, on DNA that's related to mycobacterium tuberculosis. Science is really a very serious, careful slog against these enemies of, of mankind, and we're just trying to um, study that. It's really about trying to make a difference for healthcare, and it's for the benefit of mankind.